Back on Inside Tennessee, we're talking Tennessee House politics with a Democrat and Republican who would like your vote in November. Susan? One of the things the Republicans have been very effective at over the past few years has been cutting taxes, and particularly the hall tax. And I know there's been some complaints from some folks about that impact on the county. Greg, is that something, if you had been in the legislature, would you have voted to cut hall tax and some of the sales taxes? Or where would you stand on that issue? And then, Martin, I'd like to hear your response as well. Well, you know, what's passed is passed. The hall tax has been eliminated. I think the theory behind it was that the rich folks would then spend money and it would trickle down. And maybe that'll happen soon. I hope so. I would. What I would like to recommend that we do, I think there'll be some money next year from the Internet tax that's coming in. And uh, what I would like to see done with part of the money is to cut the sales tax completely on milk and eggs. You say, well, why do that? Number one, we couldn't do that 20 years ago. Now they have sophisticated software at the checkout to where they can have different tax rates for different foods. Now everybody's got milk and eggs in their refrigerator, so it's going to help all of us a little bit. And I think the long-term goal would be to eliminate the sales tax completely on food. That's going to help people more than anything I can think. Well, get ready for that vegan protest it's, it's, on the milk and eggs. <laughs> so. it's, it's, yeah, it's much better than another cumbersome government program or something. Just cut the sales tax on food. But if you cut it right away on milk and eggs, who it's going to help proportionally is the is single mom trying to raise two kids. The, the guy that's struggling is making 12, 13 bucks an hour. So it's going to help them more proportionally. And it's just a little bit, but I think it'd be a good idea. Martin, where, where are you on the sales tax? We've got a very high sales tax, but we don't have an income tax. I know there's been discussion about cutting the sales tax on food. What, where are you on that? Well, don't forget, we've already cut it twice. Right. In the past two right. years, we cut the right. sales tax on groceries right. twice. We also cut the debt. We eliminated the death tax. We have, uh, I'm very proud of the fact that we're going to uh, eliminate over, uh, in 21, 2021, we will completely eliminate the whole income tax. And that especially hits retirees very hard. So I'm, I'm very proud of that. With regard to the internet sales tax, I think that revenue is going to be gradual. Uh, I'd love to spend it on, on uh, uh, workers who care for those with uh, intellectual disabilities. They're not being paid enough. I'd also like to look at some, some tax cuts. Let's look, look at uh, cutting the sales tax and, and the F&E tax, which is so burdensome on uh, businesses. One of the things that Governor Haslam proposed was a, a raise in taxes on the infrastructure project that he wanted passed, and that did pass. Um, do you see other rationale for voting in favor of something like that or a health care plan that enrolls more people who don't previously have health care in this state? So your question is, would I, do I see any rationale for voting for another uh, infrastructure tax? Uh, I would say, did you support that one? Yes, I did. And yes. so my question being, would you support something similar when it comes to health care to get more people the help they need um, in this state? Well, it depends on who we're talking about. So a couple of years ago, the governor had a plan that he proposed and it would have provided health insurance or health care to able-bodied adults. Okay, so we looked at that. The Senate, and we never got a chance to vote on it in the House, mm -hmm. but the Senate looked at it and Failed decided decided it wasn't in the best interest of the state. There's a lot. The the, the federal government w w under that plan, it might change, you know, next year, or the year after, or the year after that. But under that plan, the federal government was going to pay for 100 percent of the cost. Our bankrupt federal government, by the way, which is 19 trillion dollars in debt, they would have paid for that. Uh, until 2020, and then the state would be obligated, it be on the hook for 125 to $150 million to pay for that. Plan. So it was good to, to not go with that deal that the governor had proposed initially? I'll, I'll take a look at any plan that makes that economic sense that's going to help people, but that particular plan, I think, presented too much risk to the state, and, it, and we're in awful good shape here in the state of Tennessee. Financially, and I don't want—I don't want any unnecessary risk relating to providing health care for able-bodied people. I like TenCare the way it is. It provides coverage to elderly, the poor, uh, mothers who have dependent children, Not disabled the people. Poor, I like it. I like it. Greg, your position. Yeah, I, like that. I, I thought that the hospitals. Your face yeah, there I thought the hospitals bit. had agreed to a voluntary bed tax to cover that 150 million. Here's the way I figure it. I think we should be embarrassed that we didn't pass the governor's insured Tennessee plan. You know that it was financially sound if Bill Haslam was for it. And also, you know, people say, well, he's a different party than me. Well, that doesn't matter to me. If it's good for the district, if it's good for the people, then I'm going to be for it. 
just like Tennessee Promise was supposedly a re Republican program for education to allow people to go to college. I support that program. I'm a mentor in that program. It's a great program. It doesn't matter to me whose idea it was if it's a good program. And I think it was financially sound. If Haslam was for it, I would have supported the governor for Insure Tennessee. Yep. That's a big difference between the two of us. And I'm not so sure that you really even support Tennessee. I, I thought you were against the whole idea of Medicaid and Medicaid. I guess you're talking about our governor who supports me in re-election. Governor Haslam? Thank you. But what about you were asking if he does support TenCare in general? Yeah, and Medicaid and Medicare. I thought you were you and the ALEC and were against all that. Is that a question? Yes. I'm talking to you. Yeah, I, TenCare is fine. Like I say, it provides coverage of health care to disabled persons, elderly persons, and mothers with dependents in poverty. Absolutely, that's fine. To Don's question, though, about the working poor, there are uh, tens of thousands of people in this state who are working jobs and don't receive insurance, and part of the idea is to help those people out uh, to get it, who are able-bodied and who are working but don't receive um, quality insurance or zero insurance. If the plan is economically sustainable, I'm willing to look at it. We don't want a permanent government entitlement program that's just going to be huge and grow over time and, and burdensome in the long run. Don't forget, back in 20, 2003, our Democrat governor had to kick off 170,000 people off the 10 care rolls. If we're going to make a promise to the people to provide them health insurance and health coverage, I want to make sure we can, we can follow through with that, that promise. We can keep it. We've only got a few seconds left. We know the Vols game, but I want to get this score on both of you. How much does Bill Lee win by in the race for governor, and how much does Carl Dean win by in the race for governor? Well, I go with what Yogi Bear said. I never make predictions, especially about the future. <laughs> <laughs> Representative Daniel, any thoughts on the governor's race? A substantial margin. All right. Well, we appreciate both of you. Best of luck in, uh, in your election, and, and thank you for your thank time you. this morning. We're back with our talk around and a tribute to someone we all love right after this.